Yo, what up, YouTube? Welcome back to the video. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys one of the best legends to play in ranked, and that legend is Caustic. Caustic is by far one of the best legends in ranked, and I'll be showing you guys how you should be playing him and why he's the best in this gameplay right here. Now, in this gameplay, we end up being a duo because our one of our teammates die early, and we finish out duo to win. So, hope you guys enjoy, and hopefully, this is, inspires you guys to play Caustic because he's a really fun legend to play and really easy in ranked. All right, guys, I am starting this midway through the game, of course, and the reason for that is we had a 3v3. Uh, we won that 3v3, but our teammate was knocked, and we got third party right afterwards. That's just what happens in this, on this map, pretty much, is third party, third party, just at the third party. Um, so we had to leave him, get in the cart. We pretty much wrapped all the way around the map in circle, which is fine. So right here, first encounter as a 2v3, as a, as a duo, pretty much, is a Gibby team. Now, this Gibby team does not have a Caustic, and Caustic is Gibby's, one of big Gibby's biggest counters by far easily so i throw all on the outside and i immediately followed up with the trap inside and that is to pretty much get them away from the bubble completely you do not want to give me team to fight in the bubble because they're going to have the upper hand especially a 2v3 situation you want to get them out of that so immediately caught the bloodhound off guard the reason for that is Gibby teams like to stay near the bubble because it's comforting to them if they have a bubble down they feel really comfortable with it so I throw alt on the outside where I can easily push the Gibby bubble for free. It's because, again, I didn't throw it behind them. I threw it in front just so I could easily walk in without them trying to pop out to shoot me because they're going to get slow as soon as they do so. And I can get a free shot if they did that. And on top of that, as soon as I went in the bubble, I threw a trap. Instead of shooting, I threw a trap to force them completely out of the bubble. And what that did is that forced the Bloodhound to go to the left, which still was affected by my alt because he was still going somewhat towards me. And that's how we won that fight right there. You're even if you can get them out of the bubble, you can normally win against Gibby teams because, again, they're really comfortable in the bubble. So force them out with the alt or a trap, whatever it is. And we did so. So right now, as a duo, of course, you have to try to figure out where you want to go. And being a caustic team, the best place for that is buildings. Buildings are going to be your go-to. So I'm going to skip for a little bit as we're rotating, trying to figure out where we want to go. And as you guys see by the circle, there's only two buildings that you can play. And that's the two middle buildings uh, right here on the mini map. And I'm actually, we're able to hold those buildings just because of me being uh, caustic. So, I'm going to go ahead and skip forward here some. Skip back a little bit um, to the buildings. So, being caustic it allows you to control buildings like this. Um, you don't want to sit there and just throw them directly in the door sometimes. That way you guys can easily just open the door and shoot some a little bit. Um, but it's nice to have, you know, a bunch of traps. You know, you have, you can place six down total. So, you know, don't just block off the doorways. Make sure you place more than just the doorways. Make sure you place around the building as well. Just so you have extra cover. In this case, someone comes in, you can easily shoot the trap. And now they really can't push you because they have to push to the gas, which damages them. And it also slows them. So one of the fun things about Caustic, and right here, we're just vibing out. You know, there's really no reason to go off and do a lot of damage. Uh, cause for one, we really can't. You know, we're a Caustic team. We already have KP. It's late game. And it's hard to push teams when it's late game like this. And there's no point to because we already have the, the best spot in the game, which is these buildings right here. Um, that team knows that, and that team actually wants this building. So they're going to break our doors down, make sure they can do some damage to us, um, which they do. Um, I get absolutely exposed. I go ahead and just take it back because I know we're safe, no matter what, honestly. So they're trying to force their way in, and I know that they're going to keep pushing. So I throw a trap right in front of me, and I throw my alt outside. The reason for that is to force them completely away from us. So I hit them from the left side, and I swing to the right, and I keep going back and forth. Just... So I act like I'm, I'm just more than just one person uh, focusing on it, even though my teammate's inside healing. Um, and I go ahead and just replace my traps that are broken, and we got them away from us just uh, simply just by my placement of my ult. So what that ult did was, the reason why I threw it so far out and pretty much on top of them outside is because they would have to either push further away from us, which would expose them to the other teams, which happened, or they would have to be forced to push inside the building to fill with all my traps. So they pretty much had to push out. Uh, we punished them as they're uh, pushing out again because they're exposed to all the other teams. And you kind of can't do that. So they had to get out completely. And that gave us control of the building again. 
So now we have control of both buildings due to my traps. And right here we have two different teams shooting at us. So I go ahead and place my traps directly on the doors um, to protect us even more. Sometimes you want to place them on the side, but if you if you want to pretty much bunker down completely and you're not worried about uh, trying to do damage, just go ahead and just trap the doors up. Um, and also, if you place a, the trap right directly on the door, um, if you open it and try to close it, it won't close all the way. So you're pretty much going to have to pick it up and then place it again whenever you need to close the door again. But I am 194 away from Red Evo. Again, they destroyed the door, they destroyed my trap, so I go ahead and replace it with another trap. Because again, place all the traps that you need. You can place six of max, and you know, they start refilling after that. You know, you can, as soon as one destroys, you can pretty much replace it right away. Um, so make sure you have all your traps down at least. Again, they destroyed one. One went off, and I just go ahead and just replace it. It's like rinse and repeat whenever you're playing caustic like this. And right here I'm looking for damage, so I want that red Evo shield. Watching behind. Uh, this and the thing I uh this is one of my habits that I do, uh, which I recommend some people don't it. It kind of saves on cells and bats here and there. Uh, but you have to be safe about it. So when I'm looking for damage to level up my red Evo, it is one of the things where you just go ahead and keep shooting and shooting and try not to heal until you hit it, uh, if you're that close to it. Again, I, I keep replacing them. As they get destroyed, I replace them. Like right here, normally some people will take a cell, but I just want to keep shooting as much as I can. I only need six more damage. So I'm going to keep shooting until I get the red Evo, and now I can just take a full bat, and I don't have to waste any single cells at all. Um, so it worked out. So we realize that this building is a lot closer to the center of the circle. Um, and it's about patience. There's no reason for us to fully ape anybody because, again, it's only three squads left. We're the duo. They're both full teams. And we pretty much have to wait it out. There's no reason for us to try to risk it. So I pretty much I trap up more of our backside pretty heavy just because I want to make sure that we have this whole front side covered just by us looking at it and no one can sneak in behind us. Um, right here I'm just trying to figure out like little spots with the trap honestly. Um, which when you have a lot of downtime you, you can do that. <laughs> and you normally get a lot of downtime when you play in Caustic. So Caustic is one of those uh, legends that you, you have to play... Play safe, play smart, and play slow. There's no reason to try to play fast or like get antsy for kills. Like that's what you you shouldn't be doing that this rank season at all. You should be focusing on uh, getting higher up in in placements and stuff like that. Like making sure you get top five. You know, right here, top three. Okay, go ahead and just replace the traps. It'll destroy. It. Sell up. Make sure it's full healed as the circle's closing in. And this is when caustic becomes one of the best legends in the game is this end game right here this end circle is absolutely huge and the reason why we stay in the front we don't go out the back is because we want to stay in here as long as possible until we actually have to move and let these teams kind of focus each other because they're starting to be more exposed to each other and we're still safe in the building so one guy knocked bubble down this is perfect if you're if you play gibby a lot or no gibby bubble you want to time this correctly, so when you throw your alt, the bubble pretty much goes away. I throw my alt in a trap, the bubble goes away, and now they're stunned and exposed, and they have to back up. Falk stays, and again, she's slow. Gibby tries to back up and gets absolutely shredded for it. Um, so that was a huge alt right there, and it forced them both out, and it also slowed them since they kind of want to stay close to it. Um, and now it's just inching my way forward through the circle, throwing traps as, many, uh, as I can. And I'm still playing cover. That's the way the Valk right there got punished for trying to push me again because of my trap placement. And also, a big thing to know is where all the shield swaps are. And just keep throwing traps. So keep throwing traps, middle of the circle, whatever it is. Because um, it gives you a lot of cover right there. I went ahead and shot it so it goes off. Shield swap so I can push in for free. And go ahead and get Throw another trap down so I have cover right next to the, the bend. And he breaks another trap. Or another trap goes off. And I'm able to win because of that. And the reason for that is when you place traps down, people a lot of the time they go towards the edge of the storm 
or in the storm to kind of avoid their shield being hit and they take less damage when they go outside and they step out too much and being caustic with this as traps people get slowed and people start ticking with their actual health so not only do they get ticked by the storm whenever they go out with for their actual raw health like for their raw health the trap or the alt also ticks for their raw health as well so caustic is extremely good in late game just like that and at the very end i'll go ahead and rewind a little bit this trap right here was simply so I have cover to look over. Just like the old, like Caustic used to be, even though they can destroy this, it takes a lot of bullets to sit there and destroy this, and it's still going to be there at like two seconds later. So no matter what, this is a really good trap right here, so I can play behind it. But again, my trap, my trap in the very back, he already went in the storm a few times, and he's just, there's nowhere else for him to go. It's either him push forward or try to take as much damage as possible, and we're able to win because of that. So Caustic's extremely good late game. Um, just make sure you're throwing traps down the middle of the zone. Make sure you're throwing alt down on Gibby Bubbles, whatever it is. Um, sometimes you want to save your alt to the very end, but it was a great opportunity to take out a team, advance for it with my traps. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys pick Caustic. Um, I know I'm a Gibby main saying that, you know, it, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna ruin me a little bit. But Caustic's a a huge counter to Gibby. You know, if you throw a trap or alt inside the bubble. They can't use that anymore. So now they're trying to panic to figure out what cover do they have left. And you and your team can now play that bubble. You just took over this bubble and you can use it against them very easily. So I highly recommend Caustic. Try them out. If you're ever struggling and ranked, I highly recommend it. He is a very good legend to play and he's very good when you finally get to that end game. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys in the next one. Peace.